and I don't let you for hours. Hours of stripping myself. Why not get God a few minutes? 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 It's not going to make up the whole thing to get God a few minutes. It's not going to make up the whole thing to get God a few minutes. Why not tune the whole thing to get God a few minutes? serve a God that's able. 
that's able. The Bible says not only able, to, that, that, that he, 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 he's able to do exceedingly. We need to think about that. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. All that we can ask or think. He's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think. See, and, and it's, it's, it's Father's Day and Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank God for you. But we have a father that's beyond any father. He said, if you be an evil, know how to give good, give good gifts to your children. How much more will the father give unto those who ask of him? As Christians, we should not take lightly that we have a father that said, let there be in their words. A father that put the earth in place, the moon, the sun, and it's still in place. And a father that says he's always thinking about us. He's always thinking about us. And then when it comes to fathers, we thank God for our father, uh, our heavenly father. We need to thank God for our earthly father. Even if your father wasn't in your life, you should thank God for him. Because he's still responsible for getting you here. See, you're responsible for getting you here. And you thank God for what he did do. Thank God for what he did do. Sometimes, say that because sometimes we, we look at television and we want, to, want our daddies to be leaving the Bieber and daddy and Cosby daddy. And, <laughs> and we've been mad because daddy didn't act like somebody else. Sometimes daddy did the best he could do. The best he could do according to what he knew. And then we have to admit, sometimes daddy just messed up. Sometimes daddy missed it. Sometimes daddy was wrong. He should have been in your life more. But are we going to carry it our whole life? Right. Going to carry it our whole life. And like I remember a message sometime back when I mentioned about what do people need to do to get your forgiveness. If daddy done apologized and apologized and apologized and okay, don't. He shouldn't have to go to his grave still apologizing. Amen. Fathers are important. Fathers are important. In this day and time, you know, we know sometimes as mothers and they're doing it all, uh, having to raise kids on their own. But the fathers are still important. And the children, no matter what, most cases, and we say, people say, oh, it don't bother me. It don't bother me. But God knows how he made us. And there's a longing for a father in all of our lives. Amen. A longing for a father in all of our lives, no matter how old we get. And I'm so glad God let us know that I will feel that father figure for those that don't have fathers. And no matter how old we get and our fathers leave here, we still miss fathers, miss daddies. And it's awesome that God said, I'll still be here with you, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Time won't run out on God. With our earthly fathers, time will run out. That is not going to live forever. But we have a heavenly father that lives forever. If your father is alive, let him know you appreciate him. Let him know you appreciate him. Even the, the thing of it is, don't, don't mean that uh, saying appreciation don't mean I appreciate it if you weren't there all the time, but I appreciate what you did do. Appreciate even if it meant if your life was all jacked up, messed up, I appreciate that you left me alone. <laughs> I appreciate that you took the drum on somewhere else. Appreciate that. Appreciate that you, you that you played your part. There, and, and I say that because the Bible said to the pure all things are pure, to the defiled all things are defiled. And I, I remember an elderly mother saying years ago when I grew up in church and it always reminded us that there was some 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 bad in the best of us and there was some good in the worst of us that we can pick out something good in somebody in, in people if we take the time to look we can pick out something good in them so this being father's day no matter what you think about daddy think of something that you can be appreciative of that you're able to say thank you and then definitely thank God for the fact that you had a father because uh, nobody on this earth and people say, I don't have a daddy. No, you have a daddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jesus was the only one that didn't have a earthly father. So everybody else, there was a man involved um, some, somewhere. So thank God for him. Even if he was passing through the night, thank God for him. Thank God for him that he deposited a seed that led to you. By deposit the seed that led to you and as we said earlier God is always working and God the Bible tells us that the Lord said I know the plans that I have for you so that your life is not so worse off than anybody else's life Amen. that God had a plan for you and God still have a plan for you and everything you went through in your life was for you it was your journey that was your journey. And it's been Father's Day and a lot of people have a lot of mixed feelings concerning fathers. But I want you to know that your life journey is your life journey. Your life journey is your life journey. And daddy didn't derail your journey because God holds that in his hand. And so God's got purpose for you. So find some reason and something to think, be thankful for concerning your father. We thank God again for this day and we're going to ask that if you would turn to St. John the 16th, I mean correction, the 5th chapter. We're going to begin there, St. John the 5th chapter and just talking about honoring, it's been Father's Day, honoring the Father. Honoring the Father. You know, many times we have to, <clears throat> or should be careful because we as Christians, a lot of cases, we, 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 we try to treat God according to as a father according to our, our earthly relationship with our father and God goes beyond anything we can experience earthly yes. from another human um, God is never will never leave us nor forsake us he wants the best for us and he said he'll be a, there with us always even unto the ends end rather of the earth but again that's St. John the fifth chapter beginning at the 16th verse and as you turn in there again, just happy Father's Day to all the fathers. It's, it's a, a, a father, fatherhood is not an easy task. Not an easy, not an easy task. The enemy even tries to destroy the fathers, the head. And in many cases, he's thought he has succeeded. But I thank God that God is able to intervene. So pray for fathers. Pray for fathers. Amen. Pray for yeah. fathers. Yeah. Pray for fathers. Yeah. Pray for fathers that God return fathers to the home. Yeah. That God return fathers to the children. Amen. That God restore fathers. Restore fathers spiritually. Restore them spiritually yeah. so they walk out their earthly purpose and fulfill God's plan for their lives. Again, that's St. John the the uh, fifth chapter, beginning at the 16th verse. Um, when you have it, let me hear a few amens. Amen. <laughs> and it reads, that's, uh, again, the St. John, the fifth chapter, beginning at the 16th verse. I'm going to read the 16th through the 23rd. It says, For this reason, reason the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him, because he had done these things on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered, say, answered them, My father has been working until now, and I have been working. That no matter what's going on, he said, my father's been working and I'm working. My father is working, so I am working. We need to be doing what the father has told us to do. Amen. And in fact, there's a scripture that says, follow me as I follow, as I follow the Lord, as I follow God, as I follow the father. So fathers, we need to be making sure that we are working and doing the work of the Lord just as our Father has been working so that we're leading people to a closer walk to God. But Jesus told them, my Father has been working until now and I have been working. I'm not caught up in what you think and, and I'm doing what my Father has sent me to do. And we're talking about honoring the Father. My Father has been working until now and I have been working. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him because <clears throat> he not only broke the Sabbath, but also said that God was his father, making himself equal with God. And even now, my father is God. Now, I ain't said I'm the son of God, but he said he's our father. He is our father. Jesus came to bridge the gap so we could say our father. 
that we can claim our rights back to God as our father. But, it, but, but the fact that, it, that they had an issue with it, um, but also said that God was his father, making him to have equal with God. Then Jesus answered and said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the father do. Yeah. What he sees the father do. And a lot of things people are criticizing uh, children for. And many times we're criticizing them for doing what they've been they've seen. Come on. Criticizing them for what they have seen, what they've seen daddy do. And so fathers, you have to be so careful concerning what you do, Amen. what you say, how you treat mama, how you treat women, how you treat work, um, how you treat your neighbors. Most assuredly, I say to you, the son can do nothing of himself, but what he sees the father do. But what, but what, whatever rather, he does, the son also does in like manner. Jesus followed the examples of his father. And we're to follow the example of our heavenly father so that our children will follow our example. We will want them to be like us and not want to be like Mike and not want to be like and whatever fill it in the blank whatever else is out there we should do things in a way where they want to be like us as we're showing them ex the example of how it is to be like God the 20th for the father loves the son and shows him all things that he himself does and he will show him greater works than these that you may marvel awesome awesome for as the father raises the dead and gives life to them even so the son gives life to whom he will yeah. you know and, and, and the, the fact of it is <clears throat> jesus told us greater works will we do because he was going on to the father now he said we will come later because he said in my father's house i go to prepare a place for you that where i am you would, can be there also in my father's house are many mansions yeah. and if it was not so i would not have told you yeah. that 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 I'm working doing what the Father would have me to do, and then I'm going on to the Father. And we should be doing what the Father would have for us to do and setting examples as fathers to those that are looking. For the, as the Father raises the dead and gives life to them, even so the Son gives life to whom he will. That everything Christ did down here, that he followed his father in doing the examples his father gave up him is said that we would be able to do the same thing and so when we're talking about when we're talking about father's day and honoring our fathers less and and and, and you know sometimes it's, it, people say i don't want to be like my father but it, it means there's a father that we should all be try to be like and i challenge the fathers let's try to be like our father so people can say the children can say i want to be like my father For the father raised the dead and gives life to them, even so the son gives life to whom he will. For the father judges no one, but he but has committed all judgment to the son. That all should honor the son just as they honor the father. And we're talking about honoring the father. That all should honor the son just as they honor the father. And in this case, the Holy Trinity, the, the father, son, and the Holy Ghost are three, eight, but yet one. And if you know the son, you know the father. But honor, that all should honor the son just as they honor the father. He who does not honor the son does not honor the father who sent him. We as Christians should honor our father. Amen. Should honor our father. And, 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 it's, and it's very simple. We can't say we're honoring God and love God if we're not showing the example that God would have us to show. If we're not doing what the father has done, Jesus said, I do what I saw my father do. And we're saying God is our father. So we should be doing what our father did. Because even now, the Bible tells us the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. And pray that God send laborers into the harvest. Pray that father send laborers into the harvest. It's up to us to allow the father to send us that we do what the father would have for us to do but we should honor the father 
we've got to realize um, that, that, that the Father, and, and, and you know, we have our natural Father, but our Heavenly Father, we have to quit trying to make Him human. Quit trying to make God human. His ways are not our ways. His, 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 his thoughts are not our thoughts as far as the east is from the west quit trying to make God to be somebody that can only do what you can do quit trying to make God as, as, as only and can only do as an earthly father can do our father need to be honored as the head, the head, the head king of kings and lord of lords King of kings and Lord of lords, that there is nothing that God cannot do. If the doctor gives you bad news, you need to know that I have a father that has more authority than you. I have a father that, 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 that says that we can lay hands on the sick and they recover. I have a father that lets us know when man says no, I can still say yes. That we have a father that even when life beat us down, I can still throw myself into the arms of the father and he can make everything all right because he's beyond, he's beyond what man can do. Beyond what man can do. I, I, I tell people all the time, with, with God, we, try, we keep trying to make him make sense, but we serve a father that in our, with our father, two, you know, man teaches us two plus two is four, but with our father, two plus two is whatever God wants it to be. Whatever God wants it to be. Whatever God wants it to be. And if you don't believe me, look back over your life. There is times when you know you didn't have enough. You know you didn't have enough for the electric bill, light bill, or whatever. But somehow it got paid. Somehow it got paid, but what you had was not enough. Look back at your own life where sometimes you went through stuff and you didn't have enough strength. You did not have enough strength. In fact, sometime in our lives, we got to a point to where we threw in the towel and said, that's it. That's it. I've been there, God, and I'm done. Whatever you do, you do it, but I'm done. So when our strength has been depleted, there is no strength. We have no strength. But strength comes from somewhere, and it didn't come from us. That we have a father that, again, when man say no, man say, you, you, some of us have gone through things in life where man told you no. Yo, wait, what you making ain't no way you can buy no house. But what you making and what your income come up to, it, it's, and, and, I, and I, I, I know people that I've talked with that uh, one particular uh, person, and, and if they're listening, they may recognize who it, who, 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 who it was. I mean, not you, not nobody here was a family member. But when, when they did the numbers, the people told them that the finance person that was going to buy a car told them, we don't see how you pay in what you already have. <laughs> With what you're making, we don't see how you're paying your, 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 your monthly bills. Much less you want a, a vehicle. But when it was all said and done, they had a vehicle. They had a vehicle, and it didn't get repo repoed. <laughs> it didn't have it temporary, and it was repoed. But just showing that we have a father that goes beyond that. And, 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 and the thing of it is, the Bible tells us, out of our mouth come curses and blessings. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. Yeah. If we don't think our father is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask or think, then we're never going to expect him to do it. If we don't think our father is able to go beyond what the doctor can do, then we'll sit back and tie his hands and we'll never get what we could have gotten from God. If we don't think our father is able to give us, you know, because many times we're looking at we can only have what we're able to get. What we are able to get. But do you not know there are people that own houses and own vehicles that they didn't pay nothing for and could have never afforded it? But they own it now. <laughs> now we, we sit many times looking at other people and judging other people, not realizing that the father we serve, which is awesome, and that's why I'm talking about honoring the father. We serve a father that's father and, and have no problem. God has no problem being father to from all the way around the world. All the way around the world. Don't have no problem with being black or white and, and, and brown and in between. He don't have no problem with what color. He has no problem with where you live, what part of the country you live. None of that. He's able to be a perfect father to all of us at the same time. 
at the same time. I, when, 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 when we go to God and, and, and we have to get it, and I tell people, when you get it, you can, you can move on with life. I have to realize if I go to my father and ask him for something and pray unto him, God blessing me is not taken away from somebody else. That's right. Amen. We look around, well, people are starving, people in need. Okay, but God is able to handle all of them. If I pray and ask God for a car, God giving me a vehicle is not taking food from somebody else. God blessing you with a five-bedroom home you've asked him for is not putting somebody outdoors. Because he's a father and father enough to father all of us at the same time. He don't have to, take, as they say, rob from Peter to, take, to, give, to give to Paul. God doesn't have to do all that. You don't have to lose something for me to get something. Amen. God can bless you and bless me at the same time. God can bless in, in this country and around on the other side of the world. He can still be father and bless there also. That he's father and we should expect him to be a father. Uh, again, the scriptures say, if you being evil know how to give good gifts to your children. All right. If you being evil, uh, and, and, and that's awesome though, because it's saying as parents, because the Bible says all of us have fallen short. Yeah. All of us have, have fallen short of the glory of God, have sinned and fallen short rather. So if we know how to bless our children, we know how to give to our children. And many times they don't show any things. No things. I, I think about just like on Father's Day, like I used to say, like the same thing I said on Mother's Day. There was a time when everybody put on the brakes and stopped and went to be with Mom on Mother's Day, uh, and stopped and and, and and put on the brakes and been, went to be with Daddy on Father's Day. And now, many times, people don't people don't take the time to do that. That ain't bashing nobody, but it just means that the Bible tells us to honor the Father, honor the Father. And many times we can't honor the, the father because we haven't learned how to honor our father, right. our earthly father. We haven't earned, haven't, because see, here's the thing. Sometimes with our earthly father, they didn't do everything we wanted them to do and how we wanted them to do, so we have an issue with it. We turn right around to God and God don't do what we want, how we want, and we have an issue with him. And we try to act as if God does not know it, but God does know it. Amen. God know you have an issue with him because he didn't do things the way you wanted them to do to him the way you wanted him to do it. God know you have an issue with him because somebody mistreated you and you wonder why God allowed it to happen. God know you have an issue with him because mama or daddy died. My mom was 59 when she left here and I had an issue. I had an issue with God. What come on now? 59 was you said 70 and, and this is 59 and we're praying and calling on your name and living upright. What's the problem here? But God knew that. And we have to be mature enough to know that we are not fooling God when we have issues with God. And so we don't treat him like as the father that he is. Because we have an issue with something he done. The same as we have issues with our, our, our natural uh, fathers at time. We, we turn around and say, where, God, where are you? Where are you when I need you? You acting just like daddy did. <laughs> where are you when I need you the most? And the fact of it is, even when we're at our worst, God is doing his best. Because if not, we wouldn't survive. If not, we wouldn't survive. We should honor the Father. We should honor the Father. We should honor the Father. We should honor the Father, our, our Heavenly Father. And as Christians, we've got to get in our heart to where we treat God truly as a Father. Amen. Truly as a Father. A father that sees all and know all. A father that loves us. A father that chastises us. A father that disciplines us. A father that cares enough about us that he doesn't allow us to have our way. Doesn't allow us to have our way. If God allowed us to have our way in everything, what a chaotic mess it would be. <laughs> and some people say, well, why not? Well, if that was the case, do you not realize somebody looking at your house hoping they had it so if God let them have their way they would have your house somebody looking at your husband or wife hoping they had them if God let them have their way somebody looking at your car somebody looking at your health hoping they had it so if God let them have their way then they wouldn't care about how you were doing they would just want what you have so I thank God that our Father doesn't allow us to have our way. God knows what's best for us. 
The word of God tells us that he said that I know the plans that I have for you, plans to prosper you and do you no harm. Prosper you and do you no harm. Now we think, well, God, why did you let me go through this pain? God, why did I have this sickness? You must not like me, Father. What did I do to you that I deserve this? And But yet, okay, I'm the Father and I know what's best for you. I know the plans I have for you. In order for you to do what I purpose you to do, you may have to go through some things. Amen. You may have to go through some things. But I, as a good Father, know what's best for you. Know what's best for you. Do you not realize that some of the disciples was 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 was, was killed? Is it, uh, to be blunt with it, some of them was crucified upside down. Some were pulled asunder. They, they, they went through some things for the sake of their father. But we think that when it comes to God as our father, all we look at is, oh, he's just love. He's love. If he loved me, he wouldn't allow me to go through this. If he loved me, he wouldn't do me like this. It can't be God and, and I'm in pain. It, 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 it can't be God and I'm going through some things. It can't be God and I have COVID. <laughs> and I'm praying and trusting God. It can't be God and, and, and my children are being rebellious. It can't be God and my husband or wife pass away. It can't be God and my husband or wife leave me. It can't be God and my, 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 my car break down. Or it can't be God and my house burn down. Truly and surely God would only do good things if he truly loved me as a father. But there's a word in the Bible, that uh, scripture, that tells us that he chastened those whom he loved. Amen. He chastened. So some things is God just spanking us a little, saying, get your act together. Yes. Thank you. That doesn't make him a bad father. Amen. <laughs> he should still be honored because he said, in fact, and David said, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. A rod is to hook around your neck and a staff is to put you, put you back in line. But he said they come from me because they let me know that you're going to keep me in the safety zone. You're not going uh, uh, to not going to leave me to my own devices and allow me to send myself to hell because God ain't doing it. All right. Thank you. Thank what kind of father would sit back and let us do what we want to do and then end up in hell Jesus. when he have the ability as a father, if we allow him to, to guide us in the way that is right. Honor the father. Exodus 20 and 12 says, honor your father. You know, and it says mother too, but with fathers, then we're talking about fathers. But honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. To honor them. And you know what's awesome? It's just, up, just upon yesterday I went to a birthday gathering for um, Mama, Mama Birdie. Uh, some of you know uh, uh, um, Sister Clark uh, Rita Clark, her mother turned a hundred. A hundred. A hundred years old. And I think about honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God has given you. If we listen and follow, follow the father, there's rewards. There's rewards. He done promised us some things. That if we honor our father, it'll be longer. Your life will be long upon earth. Sometimes we look at people and, oh, they, they did this and, oh, they did that. And we try to pick out all the bad things. But they may have done some good things that, that, that God is honoring in their lives. They may have honored their father and their mother and God's giving them that long life that he said he would give them. Though we're looking at them and think they should be cut off because they're not doing what we think they should do. But to honor your father and, and your days would be long upon the land that God give it, given you. And it was just awesome seeing her there turn 100 years old and, and she prayed for her children and she passed a blessing down to her grandchildren and, and just was awesome. Awesome. And like, look at God. Look at God honoring his word. And in and, and Proverbs 1 and 8, Solomon tells us to hear the instructions of our fathers to listen to the instructions of our fathers and it added about don't forget that the, the law or the teaching of our mother but but in father's day to, to, to listen or hear the instructions of our father they would bring and by listening 
It will bring honor, yeah. guidance, and protection for your life. Now, 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 the, the instructions of a father, because see, I, I, I think about my own, my, my own um, um, father that, uh, that, that didn't finish high school, and I don't know if he finished middle school. But he told us some things about finances. Mm -hmm. He told us some things about responsibility that have benefited and blessed my life. And I, I guarantee you my brothers and sisters can testify to the same that have benefited our lives by listening to what he had to say. And the fact of it is, it was no leave it to Cleaver, or leave it to Bieber, Daddy Cosby, Daddy, no. My daddy used some words that Mr. Cosby didn't use. <laughs> and a lot of them. <laughs> He used a lot of words. He used a lot of words that we couldn't use. You know, that do as I say and not as I do. I'm telling you what's right whether I do it or not. But I benefited from what he have said and things he said and, and his instructions. And the Bible is telling us that if, 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 if we listen to the instructions of our fathers, daddy don't have to be perfect to tell you some things. Amen. Daddy may not have been around all the time, but daddy done bought a vehicle so he can tell you about financing. Or daddy done bought a house. So don't throw out everything and don't follow nothing daddy is saying because you still have issues with daddy when some of the things he's trying to tell you now could benefit your life. The Bible tells us, in fact, it would bring honor, guidance, and protection. That listening to daddy can help bring a fa your father, can help bring about some changes because people change. People change. Yes. People change. That is old now, and you can't do nothing for me. But I learned some things. It may be even to say, "Don't do like I did." All right. Don't do like I did. If, if Daddy wasn't there, and when Daddy telling you that now you have children, be there for them. Listen at Daddy. Listen at your father. Because again, Proverbs Solomon tells them again that, that if, 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 we, if we hear or listen to the instructions of our fathers, it can bring honor, guidance, and protection. God knows what he is doing. God always knows what he is doing. Psalm, the, 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 David said in the 10th uh, uh, book of Psalms, Psalm rather, that God is a helper of the fatherless. Yeah. A helper of the fatherless. That's why nobody we can say we don't have a father because we all have a father. We all have access to a father, the same father. And what's awesome is that the father that God is to me may be totally different than the father God is to you. Because he's whatever we need him to be. David also said God would do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed. That's why when I, and I'm talking about honoring the father, that honoring someone, someone who says that, that, that you, you didn't, uh, and I think I heard evangelist nicely said it even praise from worship, that we didn't choose God, God chose us. Honoring somebody who says, though you'll never add up, though you'll never add up, I'm choosing you. Yeah. And, and you, you think about, um, this, this help you understand it a little more. You think about your kids playing ball or, 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 or whatever, and you picking, I, I'm going to pick this one, I'm going to pick that one. The ones that couldn't play, <laughs> the ones that weren't good was the last ones picked. And it will, if, if it was only getting five and there was 15 people, somebody's going to be left. Somebody's going to be left out because whoever's picking is going to pick the best players. We have a father that says, I'm not going to leave you out. I'm not going to leave you out because you 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 didn't you grew up with a father. I'm not going to leave you out because you went to jail. I'm not going to leave you out because you were on drugs. I'm not going to leave you out because you didn't add up the way some other people did, or or or, or, or you squandered your life, even like the prodigal son. I'm not going to leave you out. I'm going to still invite you in. I'll be a fatherless father, rather to the father, a uh, helper to the fatherless, and I will do justice. To the fatherless and the oppressed. I'm so glad that God said he'll do justice for the oppressed. Letting us know like the scripture said the Bible is not ours anyway. Vengeance is mine said the Lord. I will repay. 
that people oppress you, people try to take advantage of you, people beat you down, but God said, I'll handle that. I'll handle that. I, 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 I will do justice to the fatherless. I will do justice for those that are oppressed. That's the type of father we have. And, and, and the thing of it is, it, it's, it's, I can change up and start you know, hooping, as they say, and get excited. But we need to just be grounded to know that the God we serve is not just moved by our emotions. Amen. That God, I can trust God when I'm going through something. I can trust God when I'm crying. I can trust God and not cry. Yes. That it's going to be all right no matter how it seems, God's got it. That God is truly going to take care of it. That, that we as Christians... And I, I, I'm preaching to the Christian. We as Christians, we need to convince ourselves that. That the God we serve, that he is our father. That he look at us as a child. And that he's willing to take care of us. And that he will look out for us. And that we can trust him. I don't care what man say, I can trust God. And we all have to get to where I don't care what man say, I can trust God. I can trust God. We can trust God. Even if they, like the Hebrew boys, if they throw us in the fiery furnace, I can still trust God. You may think God is, is, is not a, a strong God and, oh, I'm losing because I can get burned up. But the truth of it is, God is still God and he's still my father. And even when it seems like I'm losing, I'm winning. When it comes to God, our father, even when it seems like we're losing, we're winning. And I have witnesses in here today. There's times in, our, in your life, just like there's been times in my life, when I thought I was losing. But when everything worked out, I found out I was winning. Amen. It seemed like I was striking out, but in the long, when it was all said and done, I didn't realize that life was taking me on down around the bases. So when I thought it was, it's so horrible, I have a left home plate, I done went by first base. And then it's always oh, so horrible, God help me. I haven't made any progress, and you don't, you don't turn second base. And God, what am I going to do? And, and it's so, uh, I might as well give up now. Why you don't care about me? Why is this going on like this? This didn't happen and that didn't happen and that didn't happen. And in the midst of all of that, I've turned third base. Yeah. And some things in our life, when we thought, just when we thought it was all over and God had us open our eyes, we realized I'm back at, I'm at the home plate. Hallelujah. But I've crossed the finish line on that. But then something else come up and we start all back over again. But God done brought us in, then brought us back around home plate over and over and over in our lives. And he will continue to do the same. David also said in, the, in, the, in the Psalm 68 and 5, he said uh, uh, that God is a father, again, to the, to the fatherless. Now the first scripture, that 10, and in, in, in the 10th book, said he's a helper of the fatherless. He later went on and said that he's a father of the fatherless. Father of the fathers. Nobody should ever say they don't have a father. Even when our fathers have departed this world. In fact, Jesus, when he left, he said, I won't leave you comfortless. Well, the fact of it is, when our earthly fathers leave here, God is still our father. He still stands in place of the father. Still stands in place of our father. He'll be a father of the fatherless for us. Isaiah 9 says, we should honor our God and father uh, according to Isaiah, he goes down, he's talking about uh, um, Christ coming and, and, and that it, we should honor him because he is a wonderful counselor. A wonderful counselor. Yeah. A wonderful counselor. We, we pay people all kind of money and some of us that don't need to and go get some, um, go get some counseling. There's nothing wrong with some counseling. I'm not going to tell people, oh, just pray. Sometimes you done prayed and prayed and prayed and you still thinking according to the way you think. Somebody else may need to give a little more perspective. <laughs> but the fact that we have a father that is a wonderful counselor. A wonderful counselor. A wonderful counselor. But the Bible says in the, in the midst of counsel, there's safety. In the midst of counsel, there is safety. And God said, I am a wonderful counselor. The thing of it is, is many times with us and him being our father, we need to shut up and let him do some counseling. God help me. God, I'm going through. Father, what you going to do? Lord, I'm coming to you in the name of Jesus. Just help me with this one more time. Oh, God, I thank you for the food. I thank you. Oh, 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 amen, God. Thank you. God ain't said nothing. 
Haven't had time to say anything. And we're up and gone out the door right into life and never got any counseling from God. Never got any counsel. And I, I'm saying because the counsel from God, you pray and you listen and God start giving, putting things in your mind. This is what you need to do with that. This is a way to handle that. Go back to this person and apologize. You were wrong in that. That he started giving some counseling in it that you know you're going to be okay. You don't been through something like this before. I haven't let you down before, have I? And God will go back and go back 20 years and start showing you something. See, you thought it was so bad then, but here you are now 20 years later. You thought when you were sitting up there with them children and wasn't married and, and going through and they were babies, that life would always be that hard, but now they're grown and you're still going on forward. Now you're so proud of them, but you were so sad and down and out when you had the weight of all that on you. But I was there with you then and I brought you through that and they're doing fine and you're doing fine. So if I did it then, um, you're going to be okay now. And when God gets done, we get up feeling like, okay, God, I got this. It's all right. But we had to give God time to counsel us because he's a wonderful counselor, a wonderful counselor. He's a wonderful counselor. That's so we should honor him. He's a mighty God. A mi what other God, because there's a lot of little gods, what other God is a mighty God? A mighty God. Over and over and over, God show us that he's a mighty God. A mighty God. He can speak with fire. He can speak through the thunder because he's a mighty God. Mighty God. So we should honor him because he's a mighty God. He's an everlasting father. That's why I say he'll be a father always. When we come to God, then we will never be fatherless again. Never be fatherless again. He said, behold, I'll be with you always, even unto the end of the earth. I'll be with you in death. That this father would be with us where our earthly father can't go with us. Because I don't care if daddy is alive. Daddy can't go with you to death. Daddy can hold your hand, but he stops there. The father that we serve in God will not only, not only be with us, but usher us on through to the other side. So there's, a, there's never a time that we will ever have to be without God. Never a time that we will ever have to be without God. It, which is awesome, because when you think about it, even Jesus, when he was going through the Bible, said that, that God, God separated himself from him and turned his back and allowed him to go through that because he had to go through it for us. That was when we, what we should have been going through, yeah. being separated from God. But he took it on so that we would never have to be separated from God again. That we can be with him always. Always. Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Prince of peace, peace now. We're talking about a father that's a prince of peace. If you being evil, once again, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more would the father give you? Why would the prince of peace not share peace? You, you share with what you have with your children. Why would our father, who is the prince of peace, why would he not share peace with us? Why would he not allow us to share in some peace. God is just awesome. God is awesome. And he's everything that we need him to be. Jesus said that, uh, that I go to prepare a place for you. I told you earlier that where I, where I am, you can be there also in my father's house. In my father's house are many mansions. Many mansions. In my father's house are many mansions. If it was not true, I would not have told you. In my father's house is many mansions, and his father is our father. So we need to know that we have a father that not only takes care of us down here. Our earthly father can only teach us about God, which is what they should do. But our, our, our heavenly father has prepared mansions for us to live in. Streets paved with gold. We get caught up in stuff down here not realizing God saying eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither has entered into the hearts of man what God has prepared for those that love him. For those that love him and prepared for his, his coming, that what he has prepared for us. So we're talking about honoring our father. We should honor our father because our earthly father, our heavenly father rather, can make things okay with our earthly father. Our heavenly father can make things okay with our children. Our relationships, our marriage, our heavenly father. Our heavenly father is the key to everything else. Everything else. Our heavenly father. If we leave out the heavenly father, we don't honor the heavenly father. 
then many times we allow things to get off track. The Bible tells us that he, 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 he bre he, he's a, a bridge or to breach us back, to breach us back. Honor the Father, honor the Father, honor the Father. Let's make sure we honor God in all that we do and all that we say. And this being Father's Day, because God should be honored every day. This being Father's Day, make sure we honor our Father. We thank God, we, we thank God for our fathers. Thank God for our fathers. And I would encourage you, encourage each one of us to encourage somebody. There's some young fathers that need some encouragement. Amen. There's some working on and doing all they can do and, and there's still issues. There's some that want to do the right thing. And we need to encourage them to do the right thing. Yes. Encourage them to do the right thing. And some that we don't think is doing all the right things, encourage them to do the right thing. Encourage them to do the right thing. But let's honor Let's honor the Father. Let's honor the Father. Honor the Father, our Father. Our Father. Our Father. We're saying, Alpha Father, and our Father, which art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Honoring our Father. Don't ever think you're fatherless. God loves you. God cares about you. God has always loved you. Yes. God has always, always, always loved you. God has always had a plan for you. God has always, even before you was in your mother's womb, God had already designed uh, uh, down here. For David said, my days were fashioned for me before there was a me. So God had already fashioned your days. So if, you're, if, if, if this journey down here take you through some headaches, if this journey down here take you through some sickness, if this journey down here take you through some losses, don't throw in the towel and think God is a bad father because of that. It's just a part again of your journey. Yes. He's still an awesome father. He's still to be glorified and praised. And don't ever draw back from honoring and worshiping and praising and magnifying God because of how you feel or what you're going through. Because if God withdrew from us, if God ever withdrew from us, it's like the little poem where somebody, if God went on strike and, and took the air. If God flexed his muscles, if God pouted like we do and say, I'm going to take a day off. <laughs> I'm going to take a day off and that you have, you, you know all that and I'm so bad. I'll take a day off and let you see how things really are. Let's continue to honor and magnify God. And I said all that just meaning that even when we go through things in life, no matter what we go through in life, don't stop honoring the Father. Amen. Don't stop magnifying and glorifying the Father. For he's worthy of all of that and so, so much more. We thank God for this day. We thank God for having a Father. Having a Father that loves us beyond anything we can imagine. Pray that God continue to bless you and keep you is my prayer thank you father